Okay, so the question is, why do you need to give an anti-muscarinic when you give an anticholinesterase, especially when you're uh, reversing a neuromuscular blocker, right? We remember that we give the anticholinesterase to bind the cholinesterase and allow more acetylcholine to build up in the synapse to displace the non-depolarizer from the nicotinic muscle receptor. But at the same time, we'll either mix or administer right before or right after an anti-muscarinic when we give that anticholinesterase. Right, so the anti-muscarinic typically is robinol. You don't see the, in, the exaggerated increases in heart rate that you would see with atropine, for example. But that's provider preference, whatever they want to, want to use. The question we're answering here is why an anti-muscarinic with an anticholinesterase? Well, let's look at this. So we're giving the anticholinesterase to build up our levels of acetylcholine, right, to be able to displace our non-depolarizer, right, our non-depolarizer muscle relaxant. Okay, so we build up our acetylcholine, but the problem is we're not just building up acetylcholine at the neuromuscular junction. We give this anticholinesterase and it binds all of the cholinesterases, right? Pseudocholinesterase, true cholinesterase. We have all this acetylcholine, but it's also in the periphery. And if you remember, in the periphery, there's muscarinic receptors that innervate the cardiac muscle, the smooth muscle, the glands. And when you stimulate the muscarinic receptor, you get the meiosis, you get the rhinorrhea, you get bradycardia, you'll see the bronchoconstriction, you'll see lacrimation, urination, defecation, you'll see the increase in GI motility, and so we don't want those effects after we reverse the neuromuscular blocker. So we give the anti-muscarinic, right, to block the peripheral muscarinic receptors, right, and we block those and we inhibit that meiosis. We inhibit the rhinorrhea, the bradycardia, the bronchoconstriction, etc. So that is why you give an anti-muscarinic when using an anticholinesterase.